Hello, this is Japanese Craft Beer Reviews, and today's craft beer is indeed a Japanese craft beer. Uh, we're going to look at a beer from uh, Koedo Brewery. And Koedo Brewery has uh, been around as an organization for quite a while. Um, they're located in uh, Kawagoe, Saitama Prefecture, so outside of Tokyo. Um, and Kawagoe, I think, when they started, was much more rural than it probably is now. Uh, I've been there once a long time ago. Uh, I went there for a conference. and uh, uh, But nowadays, I think it's probably a little bit more, uh, more urban than uh, rural. Uh, in any case, they started as an organic farming uh, group in the 1970s and got into beer during the first craft beer boom. Uh, around 1996 and they hired a German uh, Braumeister to come over and teach them uh, about brewing and uh, they decided that their first beer was going to be made from one of their farming products uh, sweet potato and uh, it's called Beniaka and it is one of their flagship beers they have six different flagship beers uh, they uh, also have a, uh, a restaurant and tap room out there as well and apparently they have a Hong Kong tap room as well uh, with uh, 12 taps and they serve what they call Saitama style yakitori uh, chicken on skewers. Uh, in the past they've had beer festivals. Uh, uh, I think they started in 2012 and, and had it over several years uh, but uh, I think from 2017 may, may have been the last one. I'm not sure if they uh, have had any more since then. Uh, they have six flagship beers, and you can find many of them in stores. Uh, generally, three or four of them will, will, will appear uh, much more commonly. Uh, and you should give them a go, too, as well. They're all pretty well made. Okay, so today's beer is this one. It's called Koedo Prism. And I believe this is their newest beer. Uh, it uh, it uh, is a double IPA, 7.5%. Don't know the IBUs. Uh, and on rate beer, there were only two ratings when I checked, and the average was 3.55. Uh, untapped, 138 ratings, and the average was typically, as it is, a little higher, 3.64. Um, they claim that it should have a tropical fruit aroma. Uh, we should be encountering orange, uh, oranges and grapefruit. Uh, the malt bill for this one is Pilsner. Carapils and sour malt, and hops include Polaris, Amarillo, and Mosaic. Uh, Polaris is this uh, kind of high alpha hop uh, which originated in Germany, I think about uh, 10 15 years ago or so, uh, so more or less new on the hop scene. Uh, Amarillo and Mosaic, of course, are used in many IPAs. Uh, 437 yen, where I purchased it, and that would be $2.92 in U.S. dollar terms, and in euros, 2.82 euros. So, prism. Um, <clears throat> and this kind of suggests, uh, you know, a sort of multifaceted uh, experience. Uh, perhaps we will get uh, a variety of different uh, aromas and flavors. Uh, let's find out. 7.5%. So, that's getting up into... Yeah, I guess double IPA territory. Kind of the bottom end for a double IPA, maybe. People now make triple and even quadruple IPA. It's getting a bit much. Okay. So it is rather cloudy, sort of. Dark pastel yellow, I guess, uh, with a nice full fat finger of fluffy foam. Too much alliteration there. Okay, and aroma. <sighs> now certainly we are getting some tropical fruit. You know, the mosaic is quite present. Cold. Maybe I'm not getting enough out of it. <sighs> kind of a sort of doughy sort of breadiness. I mean, like maybe 
sweet uh, what some kind of pastry dough maybe primarily though we're getting a lot of citrus uh, tropical fruit I guess we could say grapefruit Okay, uh, this one is full of overripe kind of stone fruitiness. Orange, perhaps grapefruit, yeah. Uh, primarily I'm getting the, I'm getting the malt out uh, of this here. The hops blend in fairly nicely. Uh, but it's not a hop bomb as I was expecting it would be. Uh, slight alcohol warmth, yes, 7.5 for sure. Okay. It does have some depth of body, uh, some light flavor change in mid palate. The hops kind of grab the tongue a bit. Okay, and the orange does come in for sure. It has some bitter tracks. I'm feeling those at the end here, and they're sticking on the sides of the tongue for sure. Mm, yeah, this is pleasant. Uh, it doesn't really uh, doesn't knock me out in any sense. Uh, it, uh, it has some moderate fruit flavoring. Certainly nothing wrong with it, um, but it doesn't really uh, go very far, I guess, uh, in developing its flavors. It does have some palate changes, which is nice from initial to mid to final, but uh, overall, uh, I guess none of them impress. It's sort of uh, <clears throat> the sum of its parts, so from beginning, middle, and end. Uh, basically, that's it. Yeah. Okay, but it's not bad. Uh, you may find this. I have a feeling it's kind of going to be a limited one for them. Uh, it won't be, uh, probably won't become a flagship beer for them at all. Uh, so, but you might find this in the store. And uh, so I would say check in a, uh, maybe a Yamaya store or a large liquor store or something like that and see if you can find it. Coito Prism Double IPA 7.5%. Go for it if you want. Okay, well, take care, and I hope you're doing well at the beginning of this year. Here in Japan, of course, we had a very uh, unfortunate beginning. The first day, earthquake, and second day, the uh, air uh, air incident at uh, Haneda Airport. And But since then, it seems like things are going well. Um, we'll see what next week brings. Take care. Bye-bye.